In cases in which a woman has conceived and has had multiple embryos transferred to the uterus, she may be at risk of multiple pregnancy. Pregnancies that are twins, triplets, quadruplets and more are at higher risk of pregnancy loss and perinatal complications as compared to pregnancies in which only one embryo has implanted. In these cases, the woman has an option to undergo what is termed a selective reduction. What that means is that in cases in general in which there are more than two embryos implanted, and sometimes even cases in which only two embryos have implanted, a reduction can be done by placing a needle into the fetal sac and injecting chemicals that instantaneously stop the heart from beating. This is performed typically at around 9 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. It is done at this late time because natural reduction occurs in such a high percentage of cases that in many times the actual reduction does not have to be performed by the physician. Selective embryo reduction is emotionally challenging for couples to do and is a situation that couples should not have to face very often. What is required is that the couple and the physician make a good decision initially about how many embryos to transfer into the uterus. If a couple has adverse feelings about reduction, they should never be placed in that position. Single embryos or two embryos could potentially be transferred into the uterus at the time of embryo transfer, reducing the need to ever face the situation of selective reduction. If selective reduction is required, however, it is generally safe for the remaining embryos.